number 12. Okay. In a loud voice, they were saying, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. That's the reason why Jesus died. <laughs> That's the reason why Jesus died. He was a slain. He died. My good Lord. That he may receive power. That is the reason why before Jesus died, he never had power. But when he rose from the dead, according to the book of Matthew, the Bible says Jesus himself spoke with his mouth to say power is now given to me in heaven and on earth. So he died to have power. Mama, there are things you cannot have, not until you die from some certain things. Power comes to people that have died from certain things. If I say some certain things, I mean the all three things. Things that everyone is doing, but you decide not to do it. You, are, you die from them so that you may receive power. Jesus died to receive power. Power does not just come anyhow. It does not come like teeth in the mouth. Power comes with a condition. You have to die spiritually for you to have power. And a lot of Christians, they don't understand to say there is a process of dying for them to receive power. That's the reason why they can go to Sangomas and get power and open TV channels, be everywhere. Because they are after power. He died to receive power. He died to receive power. That is the Bible. Not, I'm not trying to put in some... No, 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 no. I'm explaining according to what is written here. Where is the lamb that was slain, that was killed to receive power? Jesus was killed not only to save us, but to have power more than anyone. <laughs> so, there are things that Jesus has benefited from dying of us. Out of the sacrifice he sacrificed for us, he gained something. <laughs> so, what did he gain? He gained power. He died for you, you were saved, and power was given to him. That's the reason why he cannot die anymore. He cannot die anymore. Other angels in heaven, they can die. But Jesus can't die anymore. He died to receive power. <laughs> a lot of Christian evangelists, Stephen one, a lot of Christians, they avoid the process of dying. How do we die? Praying and fasting, it's dying spiritually. You kill your body, you don't want to eat, not until God does something in your life. Means you have died. Other people are celebrating Independence Day outside, and you decide not to go outside, but to lock yourself in your room and pray the whole day. You have died on that day. There is a reason why you have chosen to lock yourself in the house, not to go out. There is a reason why you are doing that. So meaning you have that. You want when you come out from the house, you resonate, you go with power. 